The creator of this media films is proud to bring you the unspoken truth. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Urban Legends Exaggerated, where we take the world's most mysterious tales and crank them up to 11. I'm your host, Robert Freeman, the guy who once tried to interview the Loch Ness Monster, but settled for a rubber duck. Tonight, we sail into the murky waters of Japan's coastline to explore the legend of the Ryujin, the infamous dragon god of the sea. For centuries, fishermen and seaside villagers have swapped stories about this colossal ocean overlord who supposedly rules all sea creatures. Because, you know, every fish needs a micromanaging boss. According to the tales, the Ryujin isn't just content with being an underwater tyrant. Oh no, sometimes he likes to spice things up by rising from the depths to obliterate entire villages and enjoy a seafood platter. That includes the people. Talk about a god with questionable dietary choices. Now, over the years, countless eyewitnesses claim they've spotted a massive, serpent-like creature breaching the ocean's surface. Sure, and I've seen Elvis shopping at the grocery store. These accounts have only added gasoline to the roaring fire of the legend, making the Ryujin the ocean's biggest celebrity. Move over, Jaws. But here's the million yang question. Are these stories rooted in reality? Or are they just fishy tales spun after one too many cups of sake? To get to the bottom of this deep sea mystery, we consulted the experts. First up, Dr. Marina Waters, marine biologist extraordinaire, who assured us there's absolutely no scientific evidence of a dragon god lurking in the ocean. Unless you count the time Fred in accounting dressed up for Halloween. Riveting stuff, Doc. Next, we chatted with Professor Hiroshi Tanaka, a specialist in Japanese folklore. He enlightened us by saying, legends like the Ryujin often emerge from a mix of real-world observations and a touch of human imagination. So basically, it's like when your friend exaggerates their weekend adventure. I caught a fish this big. But let's not ignore those eyewitness accounts. People have reported seeing gigantic, serpent-like creatures for centuries. Could it be the Rujin taking a casual swim? Or perhaps it's just an oversized eel with an attitude problem. Some scientists suggest these sightings might actually be of oarfish, those ridiculously long serpent-like fish that occasionally surface to make everyone question their sanity. Imagine you're out for a peaceful boat ride and suddenly a 20-foot-long fish pokes its head up, cue the screaming and the hurried rowing back to shore. Others think the tales could be inspired by sightings of sperm whales displaying unusual behavior like breaching or slapping their tails. Huh. I mean, if a 60-ton whale decides to make a splash near your tiny fishing boat, calling it a dragon god might seem like the most logical explanation at the time. In the grand finale of our investigation, we come to this earth-shattering conclusion. The Ryujin is probably a legendary mishmash of misunderstood marine life, embellished storytelling, and a sprinkle of the ocean is scary and we don't know what's down there. So is the Ryujin a fearsome monster of the deep or just the result of too many late night campfire stories? Well, until someone brings back a selfie with this scaly deity, we're going to file it under myths created to explain the unknown, or as I like to call it, excuses for why the fishing trip went awry. But hey, who am I to crush the dreams of aspiring dragon hunters? If you want to set sail in search of the Ryujin, don't let me stop you. Just make sure you've got a good data plan for when you inevitably post blurry photos with captions like, I swear it's real. Thank you for joining us on this whirlwind tour of one of Japan's most enduring legends. Remember, the next time you're at the beach and you see something strange in the water, it might just be the wind, or perhaps it's the Ryujin asking why you didn't reapply sunscreen. Until next time, this is Robert Freeman signing off from Urban Legends Exaggerated, where we never let the truth get in the way of a good story. 